going on guys it's your local fire guy here with a LSPDFR tutorial um, I got a suggestion from a subscriber to ask if I knew how to install the police tape I told him yes I do so that's what we're gonna be installing today so here let's get into it so what we're gonna be installing here is police tape 3.0 Okay, this was last updated in December 6, 2020, but still good. So let's go ahead and install it. We're going to hit download this file. Hit agree and download. <clears throat> how long, I don't remember how long this one takes. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, yeah, quick. So now we're going to grab our WinWar and grab it over here and drop it. We're going to close out of here. And I do believe. You have a DLC pack. Yeah, there's that one. And that goes in your GT folder. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, so what we're going to do first, okay, is we're going to open up our main directory. Okay. And how we do that, you guys, is probably going to be this PC, uh, the C drive, um, program files 86, um, Steam, Steam apps common and yours will be in here somewhere and I have mine on other drives so yours will most likely be here so mine is on the D drive so I'm going to D Steam Steam apps common and Grand Theft Auto there's mine okay so then we're going to open up uh, our police tape here or WinRAR close that and that um, and always make sure you back up your game files before you do any of this kind of stuff because Sometimes some people don't install it right and it messes their game up. Also, make sure your buffer zone here is a lot. Because if you have one of these files and then lit up like this and you go to grab and drop it, it's going to mess your game up. So, Alright. So now that we're in our, L our GTA directory, let's open up the GTA folder. Okay, what you're going to want to do is... Let me see here. You want to grab all these, okay? Just going to go all like this grab them over and drop it just like that hit replace files just like that that's it for that one okay and then the next what we're going to what we're going to need is uh, open IV so what we want to do here is close out on your main directory you don't need that anymore we're gonna open up open IV hit Windows Uh, click your edit mode, hit yes. All right, we're gonna drag this over here. Then we're gonna hit our WinMar, and then we're gonna go to our DLC pack right here. Okay, click on that. All right, there's your police tape right here. So w the way you wanna get to your uh, downloadable content, I have mine saved in favorites. So I'm gonna show you the pathway and then I want you to save it, okay? So you're gonna go to mods, update, 64, DLC pack, okay? And so, so you don't have to keep doing that pathway, just go to your favorites. Hit add to favorites and there it is right there. You just hit add and then you just go like, right, let's say we start from mods and you just go to your favorites, DLC pack, boom, you're right back there. It saves you a bunch of time. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab uh, this police tape, this whole folder, we're gonna grab it, drag it over here and we're gonna drop it, okay? And then we're gonna go on the readme. Again, it tells you how you do everything in your readme. So if you ever get confused, you can read these. All right, and in this README, there's a line here that says item DLC pack police tape item. What you want to do is highlight this, right click, copy. Okay, and we're going to close out of that. And then, so we have to go to uh, this pathway so we can paste this. We're going to go to favorites, or see that would be in my data, but where you guys are going to do it, it would be like this. Mods, update, update RPF, common, data. Okay, and it's your DL, DLC list right here. Okay, so what you want to do is go into favorites, hit add to favorites, data and you update, hit add. That way you can find your way back here if something goes wrong, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to go down to, scroll down to the DLC list.xml, right click, hit edit, okay? It's going to bring this up. Okay, you want to scroll all the way down. Okay, put your cursor on the last item right after item right there I want you to hit enter okay and remember we copied it so you want to hit right click and then hit paste okay so we want to drag this over a little bit Oop. 
right there okay and then what you're gonna do if you did it right it should it save and close if it doesn't save if it says something after you save you didn't do it right you have to go back through your steps and, and do it right because if not it, it won't work okay so we're gonna hit uh, let me make sure before I close out there's nothing else in here um, oh the texture option yeah let's do that well this is a different texture we can add to it so I think we're going to add the caution, okay? And it tells you here in the texture, I should anyway, let me see here. We have DLC mods. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, mods, update, time 64, DLC pack. Now we're going to find the police tape that we just installed right here. Police tape, DLC RPF, and props RPF right here. Boom. So there's that. Then we're going to add the caution one. Oh, not that, sorry. Uh, should. Let me see. Installed there. And then I'm going uh, to install maybe directly. In the Edit mode, then open your YTD file, replace the police tape. See what YTD file it's right here. Right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab our caution tape, drag it up here, okay, and then we're going to hit replace. It's gonna be on our desktop, okay, and it should be this is caution, so it should be right here somewhere. There it is right there. Double click it. See now it says caution. Okay, instead of the red stripes, so we're going to just hit save, hit edit mode, and we're going to close out of that. Okay, now, I'm going to go you in game and show you how to do this, but there's one step that we got to do so it shows up in your game. So what we're going to do, we're going to click rage, okay, and when it comes on, we're going to hit this little sprocket. Oh, let me close that up. Well, it's going to pull this up, okay, so now you're going to go into your plugins. So here it says police tape right here. You want to click yes. And then you're going to save and launch. And I will see you inside the game. All right, guys, and here we are back in the game. Okay, so let's uh, go commit a crime. And watch, I'll show you how to put tape up, okay? So let's say this guy here, we're rolling on. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put one in him. Boom. All right, here comes everybody. Okay. So now what you want to do is we're going to hit Shift R. All right, and then we're going to. Hey, and there's your tape. One. Do it again here. You want nobody to walk around it. So. No, 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 no. Um, how do I do it? Let yeah, me do it again here. Shift R. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm right, gonna do it there, and then we're gonna move it about there. Now nobody can go in, you know. That's it, guys. Um, also, if you hit your Control G, it'll bring up your tape menu, and you can change textures and all that other stuff. But that's about it, man. Uh -oh. It just adds a little bit more realism to your game. Um, and if you don't like the way the configuration is on the Whoa. on the button, see, I like have mine to Shift R. You can change it to any any key you want to make it come out. So mine, I just hit Shift and I hit R, and there's your tape. And there you go. Just place it. I'll do it again. Probably to this cone. Boom. And there you go. Right. Pretty cool. Pretty simple. Um, that's it. So if you like the video, if this is helpful, like and subscribe. Any comments, any help doing it, comment down below. Until then, this is your local fire guy saying have a good night.